China just struck a blow that NVIDIA investors did not see coming. For years, Washington believed that sanctions would crush China's chip industry, especially its ambitions in AI. But instead, something shocking is happening. Huawei has pushed through the blockade and unleashed a new AI chip that threatens NVIDIA's global dominance. Analysts say this move could shift billions in market value and trigger a tech war that goes far beyond Silicon Valley. This is not just about semiconductors. This is about who controls the future of artificial intelligence, global power, and national security. And right now, China is saying, game on. For years, the United States believed it could keep China dependent, especially when it came to the most powerful technology on Earth, AI chips. The logic was simple. NVIDIA dominates the global AI hardware market with chips like the A100 and H100. These processors are the backbone of artificial intelligence, training everything from self-driving cars to national security surveillance systems. So if Washington cut off NVIDIA exports to China, Beijing would be stuck in the past. And Huawei, already crippled by sanctions, would finally collapse. But that strategy has completely backfired. Instead of killing Huawei's ambitions, Sanctions transformed it into a national symbol of resistance. Beijing redirected billions in emergency funding. Huawei pulled thousands of engineers into underground R&D labs. Every failed shipment from the US became a reason to build something better. Huawei wasn't just surviving, it was evolving. The first sign that something was changing came with the Mate 60 Pro. That smartphone shocked the Western world. Despite being denied access to the world's most advanced lithography tools, Huawei managed to produce a 7 nanometer chip with SMIC. Experts in Washington said it wasn't possible. They said Huawei was technologically defeated. They were wrong. But even that breakthrough was just a teaser. Because the real battlefield is not phones, it's artificial intelligence. And NVIDIA is the king of that battlefield. More than 70% of NVIDIA's data center revenue once came from China. Every major Chinese tech giant, Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, relied heavily on NVIDIA GPUs to build large language models and AI cloud services. The US thought cutting NVIDIA exports would suffocate China's AI industry. Instead, it pushed China to replace NVIDIA entirely. Huawei's message became clear. We will not depend on foreign technology ever again. What Washington framed as protecting national security has ignited China's national priority, full semiconductor independence. And in that mission, Huawei is now leading the charge. NVIDIA investors were confident. NVIDIA executives were celebrating record valuations. But in the shadows, Huawei was preparing a weapon so significant that if it succeeds, the world's most valuable chip company could lose its biggest market overnight. Sanctions didn't stop China. Sanctions built China's competitor. And now, the monster the US created is coming straight for NVIDIA. While NVIDIA dominates headlines in Silicon Valley, Huawei moves quietly but with precision. The company's latest AI chip, part of the Ascend lineup, is not just another GPU. It is a strategic weapon engineered to break US control over the future of artificial intelligence. Unlike NVIDIA, which designs hardware optimized for its proprietary CUDA ecosystem, Huawei is building something different, something national. The Ascend chip is integrated deeply with China's own software stack, its own AI frameworks, and its own cloud infrastructure. It doesn't need to beat the H100 on every benchmark. It only needs to meet one requirement, be Chinese made. And here's why Nvidia investors are suddenly nervous. The Chinese government has officially prioritized domestic chips across every critical sector. Telecom, cybersecurity, smart cities, military AI, transportation systems, and the booming robotics industry. That means Huawei has guaranteed customers before the chip even reaches global markets. What's even more threatening is the economics. NVIDIA GPUs are incredibly powerful and incredibly expensive. Each H100 chip can cost $30,000 to $40,000, and that's before adding on the massive infrastructure required to run them in data centers. Huawei's chip, according to analysts, may be priced up to 50% lower. When one AI factory can require thousands of chips, the financial advantage becomes overwhelming. But it doesn't stop there. Huawei has reportedly formed a stealth network of suppliers, from packaging to materials to new lithography processes, all working to scale production rapidly. The US tried to cut off every single pathway, but China is finding alternatives one by one. 
domestic foundries, domestic photolithography equipment, domestic memory, domestic AI models. This is not a chip launch. This is a takeover plan. Even global markets outside the U.S. are paying attention. Countries in the Middle East and Southeast Asia, frustrated by export controls and high pricing, are exploring Huawei alternatives. And guess what? China is ready to offer discounts, financing, and full-stack AI infrastructure. One breakthrough deal in the Middle East could trigger dozens more. NVIDIA once assumed it owned the AI future. Now Huawei is quietly rewriting the rules of the game, and it's doing it faster than anyone predicted. The question for investors is no longer, can China catch up? It's now, who will dominate AI in the next five years? For decades, the global tech industry assumed one rule. Innovation happens in the United States, production happens in Asia. But that rule just shattered. China isn't just catching up in AI chips. It's building a parallel AI world where NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Google may soon find themselves locked out entirely. Why? Because the Chinese government is transforming AI into a state-controlled economic engine. Beijing isn't allowing market forces alone to dictate progress. Instead, it is forcing the adoption of domestic technology. And that is exactly where Huawei thrives. Every major Chinese tech giant has been instructed to reduce reliance on U.S. hardware and software. New AI data centers, Huawei preferred, national defense AI, Huawei required, smart cities, surveillance networks, infrastructure automation, Huawei guaranteed. This is strategic survival. If you can't buy from the U.S., you build your own and you protect it fiercely. But China isn't stopping at home. The country is now exporting its AI stack to emerging economies, places where NVIDIA has less presence and the US has less influence. Huawei is selling more than chips. Cloud computing, data center architecture, AI model, hosting cybersecurity services, government oversight tools. It's not a product. It's a system of control, a technological alliance. Saudi Arabia, UAE, Brazil, Malaysia, all looking to break away from American digital dominance, are actively evaluating Chinese offers. China gives them everything. Hardware, software, infrastructure, financing, even political support against U.S. sanctions. These nations represent billions in economic opportunity. They want progress, fast, and without Washington's permission. And here's the key. Huawei's expansion helps China create a global AI block, where American companies lose market share even outside of China. Meanwhile, in the U.S., lawmakers celebrate export bans as if they are winning. But the scoreboard says something different. NVIDIA loses China, its biggest buyer. Huawei gains a captive domestic market. China gains foreign partners hungry for independence. The global AI landscape fractures into two opposing systems. This isn't just a business shift. This is a geopolitical realignment. China is no longer competing within the American-led market. China is building its own, and it may be even larger. And NVIDIA? It may soon realize... For the past two years, NVIDIA has been the king of Wall Street. Its valuation exploded past the trillion-dollar mark, fueled by a global AI gold rush. Investors believed demand for NVIDIA chips was unstoppable, that no competitor could ever threaten its dominance. But markets have a blind spot. They price success and ignore fragility. NVIDIA's biggest weakness has always been its dependence on one customer base, China. Before the export bans, as much as 70% of NVIDIA's data center revenue came directly from Chinese buyers. These were massive orders, thousands of GPUs purchased at once, powering the world's fastest growing AI systems. Sanctions flipped that advantage into a danger. The moment the US restricted high-end sales, China didn't beg for access, it started replacing NVIDIA. Huawei's domestic chip push is not a slow burn threat. It is happening right now, and that means billions of dollars in revenue are evaporating from NVIDIA's future balance sheets. Wall Street analysts don't want to talk about this. Politicians pretend this is a win. But math doesn't lie. Even if Huawei's chips are only 80% as powerful as NVIDIA's, they are good enough for Chinese companies. And, good enough, in a market worth tens of billions? That is devastating. 
The risk goes deeper. If China refuses NVIDIA chips for strategic reasons, demand disappears overnight. If global markets choose cheaper Chinese alternatives, NVIDIA loses price control. If foreign nations align with China's tech ecosystem, NVIDIA loses territory. This isn't a rumor. This isn't a forecast. It's already visible. NVIDIA's stock volatility increases every time China announces a breakthrough. Investors are watching nervously, asking the question no one wants to answer publicly. What if NVIDIA has already peaked? Meanwhile, Huawei is still climbing. It has national funding, political backing, guaranteed customers, and a mission tied to China's sovereignty. NVIDIA, for the first time, is facing a rival with infinite motivation and no option to fail. Sanctions created the battlefield. But they may have given China the winning strategy. If NVIDIA can't access its biggest market, and can't compete with cheaper alternatives globally, that trillion-dollar valuation may prove to be a bubble inflated by overconfidence. Because the future of AI dominance will not be won in Silicon Valley speeches, it will be won in the market that America can no longer control. The world has entered a technology war where chips are more powerful than missiles. And right now, China isn't just defending itself, it's striking back. Huawei's AI chip breakthrough is more than a product release. It's a declaration. China will not let foreign powers control its future. NVIDIA investors hoped sanctions would secure American dominance. Instead, they created a global rival with unstoppable momentum. Huawei now leads an AI revolution that stretches from Beijing to Dubai, from Southeast Asia to Latin America. A new tech alliance is forming, and it does not revolve around the United States. Who will win this battle, NVIDIA or Huawei? Who will dominate artificial intelligence in the next decade? And what does this shift mean for the balance of global power? One thing is certain, this story is far from over. The semiconductor war is just getting started. If you want to stay ahead of the next move, the next shock, and the next trillion dollar shift, make sure you're here with us. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next chapter of the AI revolution. Your support helps this channel expose the truth behind the headlines.